Welcome back. As promised at the top of the show, we have with us the management of PowerMec projects. The stock, remember, is buzzing on the back of a new order that the company has got from the Adani Group worth 6,000 crore rupees. It's an order in the flue glass desulfurization or FGD business. It's close to around 6,100 odd crore rupees. We do have with us Mr. S. Kodanda Ramaya, who is the Director of Business Development at PowerMec Projects. Thanks a lot, sir, for joining in. Um, you know, before we talk about this order in particular, can you tell us a little about the FGD space? Is it the first time you've got an FGD order? And how big is the FGD potential in the country? At the same time, um, you know, who are the other players? What's your capacity to uh, service these FGD orders? Yeah, it is part of the power, uh, power, uh, power sector business. In fact, power sector, you know, because of the coal base units um, importance is coming down. Uh, we had a lot of presence in the uh, power plant, uh, power sector business up to 90%. Now we are reduced to about 50-55%. Uh, but this is a substantial boost of our uh, power sector business, uh, <clears throat> both in the domestic and international market. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, the FGD uh, total business potential in the country is for about 1,69,000 megawatts. Out of that, uh, roughly you can say, including these orders, what has uh, come out, about 88,000 megawatts have been ordered in the market. And uh, Adani Power and Adani Group, we have got a long-standing relation for about 15 years working in various sectors, power, infra, material handling, mining, etc., and operation maintenance uh, plants also. Uh, for this, uh, this should substantially help us in uh, in, uh, in consolidating our business in the power sector business. And that is our core uh, strength because uh, we have got a huge uh, presence in installing, uh, in providing installation support about 68,000 uh, uh, megawatts. Right. Uh, what is the cost per megawatt of uh, FGD? You said there's 1.69 lakhs. Can be around uh, 70, 73 lakhs per megawatt. Okay, so the EPC cost so, that excludes the development cost and the IDC cost. So the total potential, I think, is around 1,50,000 crores. Very, very, uh, you know, approximately 1,50,000. 1, is our total uh, megawatt uh, base as to yeah, in yeah, value yeah. in value terms, I guess it'll be around one lakh forty thousand crores uh, approximately. You know, if you yeah, out of that, uh, more than fifty percent has been ordered in the market. Okay, and do you do you see scope that you all can bag more orders this uh, FGD uh, business? Actually, uh, these are all uh, uh, retrofit jobs for a specific purpose of reducing the sulfur dioxide in the flue gas uh, discharges of the coal based plants. And uh, as per the central estate product guidelines, uh, these 169,000 megawatts have been identified and uh, the project has to be commissioned uh, up to 24. That is the mandate right. <laughs> because this is part of the global commitments uh, for our emission control. Mm. And this will substantially help in reducing the sulfur dioxide emissions with a recovery efficiency of right. 90 No, So we get that point. Of the 50,000, 60,000 crore worth orders which are pending right now, how much do you think you can get up until FY24? Maybe, uh, see, this order is a quite a big order for us. Uh, we'll be busy with these orders. Maybe we'll be uh, looking for another one or two orders, maybe another two to three thousand megawatts. Okay, oh, another, our so that's another uh, 2,500 uh, crore worth orders yeah. that you're looking at. Okay, all right, we got that then. So you've got, given us a fair understanding about how the FGD business functions. Now you're saying that you can execute this order in the next 30 months or so. So in FI23, will some part of that reflect? And uh, you know, if you could yeah. guide that us, uh, uh, you know, for us in FI23, how much will re reflect? And 24 and 25 as well. Give us a sense uh, on that front. And also, what are the margins on this business? Yeah, you can say around 11 to 12 percent EBITDA margins. Okay. And how much will reflect in this year out of the 6,000 crore order? Yeah. yeah. Actually, based on the present order backlog, we have got a uh, uh, we have got a plan for a revenue plan of 3,500 crores, and perhaps you know the, the first year of the order should boost up about 10 to 15 percent should boost up. Therefore, our uh, total uh, revenue for this year should exceed 4,000 crores from the last year revenue of 2,728 crores. That is plus 40 percent uh, uh, this one. And uh, that is also driven by many of the existing projects in power, infra, operation, maintenance, export jobs, et cetera. Yes, and sir. This will be an add-on job. And this is our core competence in putting the power sector outside. Okay. Yes. You know, and, uh, sir, let me come in, sir. So let me come in here. Uh, so earlier, I think you were guiding for around 3,500 to 3,600 crores. Now, post this order win, you're saying that you'll do in excess of 4,000 crores for this year. Are we getting that correct? Uh, yeah, plus 4,000 crores. 4,000 crores plus is what you're going to be doing in FY23. 
And what would the blended margins be for the company? Last year, you did around 10%. You were guiding that you will be seeing margins move up, say to the vicinity of around 12 to around 13. Absolute terms, it will move up. I think 11.18 percent was the EBITDA margins, and we, right. we we expect it should be between 11 to 12 percent in this year, based on the blending and the product mix and service mix we are going to undertake in this current year and the coming years also. Therefore, uh, those margins we will be maintaining at but absolute terms. Last year, EBITDA was about 303 crores. Right. That should exit plus 400 crores this year. And, uh, you know, uh, before we move on to the other parts of your business, a final question from my end on the FGD opportunity itself. Is it a one-time opportunity or is this recurring in terms of uh, the potential that you're talking about? No, actually, it is a one-time opportunity, you can say, because uh, the total installed base of coal based plant is plus 2 lakh megawatts. In that, yeah. uh, 1 lakh 16,000 megawatts has been identified as a one time retrofit. Okay. Afterwards, you know, the, the regular FGD, any coal based uh, addition capacity is going to com come down in the country as the, as the years pass by because of the emission controls and all. Therefore, uh, this cannot be a long term opportunity, but is a short term good opportunity uh, to do at our business. Okay. And uh, you said 4,000 crores revenue and 400 crore EBITDA this year plus. Yes. But 11 to 12 percent margins would take your EBITDA closer to that 540, 500 crore mark. Is that? No, I said about plus 400 crores it should be. Okay. So both of them would be plus. The uh, good. And water, the product okay, is. good that we have that clarity now. But uh, uh, apart from FDG, what are the other orders that you've gotten this year so far? No, we are uh, working on uh, drinking water projects in, uh, in Uttar Pradesh, about 4,200 crores. That is the part of the uh, Jal Jeevan mission. Okay. And then we are working in the operation maintenance of uh, 13 plants across the country, including Kardani. And that gives about 25% of our revenue. And then they are, we, are, we are doing the many of the power plant business and civil structural and mechanical works also. And then non-power we are doing in mining, infra, material handling, hmm. uh, so, etc. And a lot of civil works we are doing also. So what's the total order inflow in terms of value this year that you've gotten? How much are you targeting for this year? And while you talk about that, also tell us, you know, what's your revenue and order book exposure to the government, be it the central government or yeah. the state governments? Uh, yeah, la uh, last year it was about plus 4,200 crores. Uh, this year we are already getting 6,163 uh, uh, crores. And uh, the first quarter we have booked about 300 crores. And we are uh, looking at opportunities of near more than 15,000 crores. Maybe another three to three and a half thousand crores uh, order booking is expected in this year. Another three to 4,000 crores. So the total order inflow for this year should be around 10,000 crores? Yeah, it should be near to that. Around 10,000 crores. Okay, got it. Uh, you know, a couple of questions. Then the ONM business, I think you briefly mentioned that it's around 25% of your business. So for this year, the ONM business could do around 1,000 crores? Yeah, we are, last year we did plus 800 crores, and then uh, that should come to nearly 1,000 crores. And then uh, one more uh, aspect on the ONM is that we are developing one mine in the Jharkhand. Quarter uh, percent four. That should be operational in the next two years. Once that comes, another four hundred to six hundred crores of our wind up business should add to the wind up profile. Okay. And uh, you know the government point. Can you tell us a little about how? What's your revenue exposure from the government, both state and central? Yeah, it is uh, uh, perhaps you can say uh, 50 50 percent, 50 percent uh, uh, the government, both central and uh, state governments, and then balance will be the private. Okay, because, uh, you know, the worry is that your trade receivables are close to 700 crores. That's almost 110 days, uh, a little over three months, uh, almost four months. Uh, are, are the players paying on time? Uh, how do you, you know, receive the money earlier? No, these uh, receivables is part of our uh, uh, working capital management and uh, we are factoring in that. And in the market and this business, it is expected between um, uh, two and a half months to three and a half months. That is a normal cycle time. Okay. And what about working capital days? You know, it came down, I think, to around 140, 145 days. It used to be 170, 180 days. Yeah, that should be maintained uh, because we are getting advances also in all these contracts. Here also, we are getting 10% of the industry advance. That would so, help us to service the working capital. So 130, 140 days is the steady state working capital days that you're looking at? Uh, yeah. That yeah. should be. Okay. Uh, and also, what about your net debt? Uh, you know, your your uh, uh, interest cost per year is around 80, 81 crores, at least for the past year. So what is the current net debt in the books? Uh, and, you know, do you need to, since you have such a big order book, do you need to raise some more money or 
will you be able to function at these levels? Uh, no, uh, actually in these projects, it is a revenue-based uh, working model because mm -hmm. advances will be used and we are also uh, going to get the tie-up with the vendors and uh, suppliers and in-house we are doing it. Therefore, our, except for the materials, less than working capital management we can do with in-house uh, value addition because we are putting our own groups, our own uh, supervision, our own equipment and then procurement, uh, uh, whatever is there. To that extent only it is required. Therefore, we will be able to manage that. And what's the debt on your books? About plus 400 crores. Plus 400 crores and that will be managed, right? And will you have to raise some uh, uh, capex, etc.? No, capex, our type of uh, investment is mainly for any construction equipment or capital assets. Uh, that is not much. Um, um, about 25 crores we are planning in this year. That we should be able to manage with our internal resources. All right, final question, sir, before we let you go. You know, the stock has seen a big, big run. The stock market seems to be sensing something. This order win is something that they like. Your stock is up close to 35 to 40% just in the last one month. So we need to clear most of the queries that, you know, uh, investors or, uh, you know, shareholders would like to ask. Is there any possibility that you're bringing in a strategic investor into the company? Or does the promoter entity, uh, you know, have they received any kind of bids for the company? Could you clear the air on that front? As on today, no. We are already having some uh, investors in our regular uh, ITP profile. And uh, therefore, uh, as on today, we don't see if anybody comes, we look into it someday. But as of now, the company is not on the block. Yeah, yeah. And, and there is no political risk uh, involved with uh, the orders that you win as well, right? These are all uh, uh, doable projects and then, you know, like, you know, drinking water substantial or plus 4,000 crores, that is a right. central project. Then other are revenue-based contracts, they're all ongoing projects, they're okay. funded and then tied up. And this is also a part of the mandate Adani group has to do it. Adani group is pretty good in managing these type of projects and they do in time also. All right, we, we take that point. Yeah, we take that point because, you know, the way uh, there have been changes in a lot of state governments, etc. That's another thing that uh, the street would have liked some clarity on. Thanks a lot for joining in.